everyone's being told right now that they have to be on LinkedIn because the engagement on LinkedIn is unbelievable. And we, I think, all agree that LinkedIn is a great platform. The yeah. problem that I see is there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise in every social platform. This is not just LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever you want, whatever platform you want to go to. Yeah. So I go on LinkedIn yesterday. Just I had to check something out. I don't remember what it was. And I see a post, and I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to name companies. But I see a post from someone, and it was clearly from a library of content from a very large company. It's like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I scroll down about two more posts, and there's the same exact post by somebody else. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So I quickly took like their snippet introducing that post and just stuck it in the search bar on yeah. LinkedIn. It comes up with hundreds of the same people at the same exact time posting the same exact picture with the same exact snippet. So I was like, well... You know, I have a, we have a couple different accounts, so I go in from a different, different angle and do the same exact thing. And sure enough, it just pulls it up from their contacts and from their area. So if they're in the Midwest, yeah. it would call them Chicago and Cleveland and all these different things. Yeah. I think people are fooling themselves and they're fooling LinkedIn with this BS posting. And I'm kind of tired of it. I don't know what your take is on this. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it, right? I mean, here's the thing. If you think about a party... And all of us, let's say 20 people walk into a room, and if everybody just starts talking all at the same time, nobody's having a real conversation. Right. right. Well, and in that scenario, everyone's saying the same exact thing. Well, yeah. So if everybody's just coming in and repeating the same exact thing, that's, <laughs> you know, that's just weird. That would be that's weird. very cult like. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I, you know, I mean, my opinion, my opinion is that you're going to have that. I mean, you're going to have people uh, put stuff out there. I mean, I, I think that. I think that a lot of you don't want to expend unnecessary energy on on saying, "Well, I don't like this. This drives me crazy." I think there's, I think two things have to happen. One is recognize these platforms for what they are. I mean, they're platforms to put out content. They're platforms to engage. Everybody's going to use them differently. So if you're putting out the same article that everybody else is putting out because it's from a library of content, well, then it's not going to be that unique. You know, it's not going to be that. I mean. Maybe you'll get somebody to look at it. But I think at the end of the day, everybody has to think about what is their end goal and their objective with LinkedIn or any of these other platforms. I mean, that's you can't mindlessly just put stuff out there. And I think that's where a lot of people start to panic. It's okay, I just got to put something out. I used to just have to put stuff out. I think you alienate your audience when you do this, actually. Because yeah. if I see two of those same people posting it, and then the third and the fourth and the fifth, and it goes down, and I'm like, well, now you're just pretending yeah. that you're on LinkedIn. And you're well, actually no. truly not on LinkedIn. And so, yeah. well, now it's just noise to me. Now it's polluting it, yeah. and so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unfollow, or I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to move past it. And then when you do post something good, I might not see it because right. you've alienated well, your audience. Well, in, in the way that the platform, at least, from, again, I'm not a, an expert. I've been learning along the way. But the way that uh, when you see just articles that are coming from an external source, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm a company, and I'm putting my company article out, and, you know, at the end of the day, who cares? Right. Nobody really cares. Oh, am I going to take time out of my day to read about your company and how great they are? No. no. I don't expect anybody to do that for me either. What wins the day, from what I can tell, you know, and I think it just comes down to human nature, what wins the day is people-focused uh, content. Mm -hmm. So if you see content on each platform, LinkedIn is very much, you know, the job market. That's, you know, people and, you know, it's, it's professionals. And, uh, and you can really kind of see here's what the culture is like in, in this LinkedIn ecosystem and the content that does the best is the content that seems to be focused around people and it's things that tell stories yeah. that really help people connect a little bit more is it all good no but you know there's some really good stuff so that's there. an opportunity that you can shine on LinkedIn and Absolutely. put a little time and effort and tell some stories yeah. on there and, and stand out from the crowd so yeah yep no, I agree with that I think it's a good point to say it's not about getting mad it's about what we've talked about in other things is do something about it this podcast exists in large part because of CASCM, the content marketing business inside CASSource Inc. CASCM is excited to bring the content marketing services used at CASSource to you. Learn more by visiting CASCM.com. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. It's a big deal to us. We hope you found value in it. And if you did, we would be incredibly grateful if you gave us a review on iTunes. Remember to subscribe to this podcast and feel free to share it with anyone you know. More than anything, thank you again for listening. We appreciate it. <laughs>